I'm top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, East Orlando's number one real estate company. You know, I've lived here in Oviedo almost my entire life. I went to Winter Park High School, UCF, right down the road, and I've been selling real estate here in the area full-time every day for over 35 years. Today, we're diving into the history of Oviedo, a gem in Florida that's got chicken strutting, a booming economy, classic houses, and a community cozier than a porch swing. It's a hot spot for businesses from healthcare to education to tech. You know, back in the day, way back in the day, Oviedo was the real deal with the Seminole Indian villages. Picture this, wild times in the central Florida frontier after the Civil War buzz, that was 1861 to 1869 or so, folks started settling down in the Lake Jessup community. Oviedo got on the map because it was easy to get to Lake Jessup from Solary's Wharf. The name Oviedo or Oviedo popped up in 1879 thanks to Andrew Alden, the postmaster. He was a Swedish dude who liked the sound of a Spanish name. So he named it after a city in Spain where they call it Oviedo. Pretty fancy, huh? Back in the day, folks rolled into Central Florida from Jacksonville on paddle steamers, making a pit stop at Solary's Wharf and White's Wharf on Lake Jessup. You start at the St. John's River in Jacksonville and come all the way south, as far as you can go in the St. John's, that's Sanford. And then the last stretch of the St. John's River you could sail on ended right here near Oviedo. So Oviedo became the gateway to the heart of Central Florida. George Powell, a Civil War dude from Georgia, moved to Oviedo to escape the fuss surrounding his son's involvement in the Lincoln assassination mess. George grabbed himself 160 acres, sold off bits of Oviedo, and blended into the scene. Oviedo started out as a farming and rural gig, but hit a growth spurt back in the 1800s when the Lake Jessup community formed. They were all about farming and the farming life. The city of Oviedo officially came to life in 1925 thanks to the Florida State Legislature. Now during World War II, 1939, 1945, Oviedo citrus and celery is on fire, bringing in loads of growth and development. Citrus big shots like John H. Lake and William B. Nelson made Oviedo their home, and the city even rocked the first orange juice plant in Florida in 1916. There was also the famous Oviedo Packing House for oranges, doing its thing from 1926 all the way to 1985. Now the weather in history played some nasty tricks and the orange groves froze. So they eventually switched to potatoes and eventually celery. The freezes in the 1890s hit the orange scene hard, making celery our new star. Oviedo's mucky soil was like heaven for celery and they shipped off all that crunchy goodness all over the US. Sanford and Oviedo became the celery capital of the world, shipping more celery to your grandma's Thanksgiving leftovers than any place else on the planet. So the orange industry was going strong, got back on its feet until the 1980s when another freeze hit them hard and they never recovered. Now where all the orange grows were, there's houses. Let's not forget the free range chickens strutting their stuff in Oviedo since the 1990s. It's like a real life chicken parade down there. Oviedo's got a rad historic district with Victorian and craftsman's homes that will make your jaw drop if you're into architecture. The city also boasts some historic building like the Oviedo City Hall, the Oviedo Public Library, and the Oviedo Masonic Temple. In a nutshell, Oviedo, Florida has a history that's wilder than a gator in a swamp. From its Seminole days to citrus and celery frame, it's been a roller coaster. Nowadays, Oviedo's still kicking, keeping its roots alive while growing and changing with the time. It's a place that's as diverse as a Florida sunset and as lively as a backyard barbecue. So if you want to move to the city of Oviedo, why not call realtors Scott Garrison and Deanna Sokoto, the experienced Oviedo realtors you already know. Obviously, we're committed to, we live in, and we know the area, and with over 35 years of experience selling properties right here, we might be the obvious choice. Meanwhile, I'll catch you in our vibrant city of Oviedo. Deanna and I have a huge festival booth at almost all the outdoor festivals and events out here almost every weekend. We and our Remax office are one of the official few sponsors of all the outdoor events here in the city of Oviedo all this year. 
So until then, stay tuned for more history and more Oviedo to come.